Earth has got a heartbeat. In their recent article published by Geoscience Frontiers magazine, a group of American scientists claim the following. Throughout the history of the Earth, cataclysms happened in cycles, and this resembles a human pulse. Each beat causes catastrophes that inevitably lead to mass extinction. The Earth's past consists of many disastrous cycles, both apparent and hidden. They can be repeated once in hundreds, thousands, millions, or even billions of years. But even knowing about these cycles is no guarantee of our survival. In this video, you'll find out how soon will the sun plunge our cities into darkness and crash the internet? Who points a laser at Earth from outer space? Could it be that even wars are cyclical? And is humanity capable of breaking the world's secret cycles. But there are also positive cycles in the world, like, for instance, when we support charity. However, the crucial areas like education are repeatedly ignored. You can break this cycle as well and get a chance to win a DeLorean, the legendary Back to the Future car from Omaze. Follow the link, omaze.com slash riddle. Get the chance to win the legendary DeLorean and donate to support Peterson Automotive Museum and the Peterson Workshop an educational YouTube series for children. The series provides insight into the past, present, and future of the automotive industry. The Peterson Workshop is a ready-made solution to integrate the automobile into a STEAM-based curriculum for K-12 students. And if you win the DeLorean, accelerate it to 88 miles per hour, go back in time, and donate again. This way, you'll break the cycle where nobody wants to donate money to culture and education. And using the DeLorean, you you can then go back to the future, where they got more museums than back to the future pop culture references. Okay, now back to the video. The sun can throw us a real apocalypse. Can we overcome the dangers it poses? First of all, it would be good to sort out solar cycles that we seem to have overlooked for far too long. The Carrington event is the most powerful geomagnetic storm known to us in history. On September the 1st, 1859, a solar superstorm occurred on Earth, making the sky sparkle with northern lights from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. The telegraph, the primary means of communication back then, shorted out due to the power surge. And although astronomers had already known about the 11-year-long solar cycles, nobody predicted the powerful Carrington event. We had ignored the sun's new hints for over a century. In 1921, telephones all around the world went dead because of a solar storm. In 1972, a geomagnetic storm detonated American mines near the coasts of Vietnam. In 1989, it caused a blackout in the Canadian province of Quebec. And there certainly will be no chance to ignore its next appearance. Although we haven't come any closer to solving the mystery of solar cycles, the Carrington event is bound to happen again in the following 150 years. This time, the geomagnetic storm will disable satellites, power plants, and instead of the telegraph, will cause an internet shutdown. If we don't do anything, the sun will set us back to the 19th century. Today, we can only forecast a storm a few days before it occurs and turn all the equipment off so as not to burn out. But in the end, the sun will beat us anyway. In 750 million years, it's going to become so active that the Earth's oceans will evaporate and neither plankton nor plants will be able to produce oxygen. One billion years later, a solar storm will blow the ozone layer away together with a part of the atmosphere. All living creatures will be suffocating in a scorching radioactive desert. But before we face that problem, will we be able to stop mass extinctions on Earth itself? The most challenging thing is to prove the very existence of the cycles. In the 19th century, a French naturalist, Georges Cuvier, developed a theory of catastrophes that annihilate almost all life on Earth on timescales of millions of years. Cuvier was openly laughed at. 
The same reception waited for Alfred Wegener, a German meteorologist, 100 years later. He claimed that all lands were connected 250 million years ago and formed Pangaea's supercontinent. It was accompanied by volcano eruptions, climate changes, and other cataclysms, which led to mass extinctions when it fell apart. Wegener's theory was also trashed, and only satellite images later confirmed that he was right. And that's where geologists found the Earth's heartbeat. As soon as all the cataclysms known to science were put on a chart, it became clear that they peak every 27 and a half million years. A new supercontinent, Neo-Pangaea, will appear on Earth in 250 million years. Just imagine getting in your car in the USA and taking a drive to China or Australia, but not so fast. Within these 250 million years, we'll have to survive nine heartbeats of the Earth. The next one is expected in 20 million years. Currently, scientists have no clue about what is going to happen. We're too much used to the thought that we only watch nature from the sidelines, when actually humanity is still its integral part. What if people have their own cycles of destruction? And if so, can we cope with them? Alexander the Great's empire was half the size of the USA, but fell apart in just 25 years after the death of Alexander. The Eastern Roman Empire was smaller, but set an absolute record for existing for almost 1,500 years. Historians have long noted that all civilizations and states undergo the same cycle rapid development, a period of stability, degradation, and collapse. It's often accompanied by setbacks in culture, science, and technologies. Collapses are often accelerated by wars, and here lies the most surprising discovery. In 2007, Arno Tausch, an Austrian social scientist, discovered that all major armed conflicts starting from the late 15th century and up to this day remarkably aligned with ups and downs in the world economy, like the Great Depression 100 years ago. It looks like nations live according to some schedule that orders them to wage wars now and then. After the end of the Second World War, we can see a prolonged recession in this cycle, and a new peak can occur as early as within 100 years. The Third World War will set us even farther back than the solar storms can possibly do. Let's assume we rise above our disagreements and reach a total alliance of all states to break these endless cycles of recessions and wars. But once we try to control or break the local Earth cycles, the irresistible forces of the universe come into their own rights. Can we go against dangerous space cycles? The planet has already been attacked by them more than once. One of the Earth's previous heartbeats occurred 66 million years ago. The cataclysms that caused the extinction of dinosaurs 66 million years ago were triggered by a massive asteroid falling to Earth in the Gulf of Mexico region. In no more than a thousand years, the Apophis asteroid, as giant as three stadiums, may hit our world with a power comparable to a million atomic bombs dropped at Hiroshima. At the moment, NASA believes that it will most likely miss its target. However, gravity cycles of the solar system guarantee that we'll collide with a killer asteroid in the next 100 million years. Though NASA is already devising plans to repel this attack, deep space has a deadly weapon in store that leaves us zero chance to protect ourselves. 443 million years ago, more than 70% of living organisms on Earth died out. We don't know exactly what it was, but some scientists suspect a gamma-ray burst that came from deep within the galaxy. When some supernovas explode, they create light beams of gamma rays carrying more energy than the sun can produce during its 10 billion years of existence. Gamma ray bursts are thought to occur in our galaxy approximately once in 5 million years, but they are very directional. Too bad, but one such laser is pointing right at us at the moment. 
This is WR104, a binary system located in the Sagittarius constellation. In the following 500,000 years, it may cause a gamma ray burst that will literally make Earth sterile with radiation. The ray moves at the speed of light, so it can't be detected beforehand, let alone protected against. It's simply beyond human capabilities. We can only cross our fingers and hope that our luck holds, like it did many times in the past, but we still need to do something about other dangerous cycles. Let's take this challenge seriously and try to break one of the most deep-rooted cycles. As soon as our next video comes out, someone immediately writes first or we demand a face reveal. Do you think we can handle this one? Free your imagination and write in the comments, what will you do if a solar storm crashes the internet for a whole year? And share this video with your friends while communications are still available.